Hold up. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with a Japan haul. I love Porter, I love Japan treats type of haul. Uh, my husband just came back from Japan recently, so this is what, haul number three or so for the year. So I'm gonna share that with you guys. And before I begin, my name is Rochelle. I love all things hype bay, luxury, travel. If that is up your alley, why not support your girl and subscribe and also like this video, ring the bell as well. But let's get started. My lucky husband went to Japan again for the third or fourth time this year. So of course, whenever he goes, he makes it a thing to make sure that I get snacks and all the cool stuff. So one of our favorite brands there is Porter Yoshida. And so of course, of course, in Rochelle and my husband like fashion, we had to get something. And one of the things that they do really well is nylon. And you guys know we love nylon on this channel. So I am first going to start with all the fashion things and then we'll do treats at the end. Fashion and I don't know, random cute things, I guess, okay? So the first thing that we got is going to be my new little pillow friend and this is a new character in the Rilakkuma family I am so sorry I don't know what this guy's name is um, I don't I don't know what he is but he's like a little he's like a little coyote I think but he's so adorable he's this beautiful light blue color um, he got me the stuffed animal the previous trip so if you haven't seen that haul I will link it up above here but first of many cute things. Now we're gonna go and move on to Porter things. So I haven't had the chance to really check out what any of these things are. Um, he just loaded it on the table so I had brought it up. So we're basically checking them out together. So of course Porter here. And this first piece that we got here. Oh cute. It is their little micro bum bag. So in the previous one I got the one that's one size bigger. So because micro and nano is still such a popular thing, um, we ended up getting this really cute one in the black with the silver hardware. It has all of these sections here to where we can make them smaller. And oh my gosh, so cute. Let me, I never had the chance to try it on either. So I have no idea um, what this is like. Uh, in fact, I haven't even worn the maroon one yet because honestly, I totally forgot that I had it. So um, none of the Porter things make it in here. Uh, it's mainly in my husband's closet. So that's probably why it's out of sight, out of mind. The only things that I have in here that are Porter is going to be from the Montclair collaboration that they did um, and the Fendi's. All of the regular Porter things are unfortunately not um, in this dressing room but guys oh my gosh how cute of course I'm gonna make it longer but as Cassie Thorpe says left titty roll in this right titties flex mm. next so I guess Porter now is putting them in these big Ziploc bags um, that looks like a label. This here, not sure quite what it is. Ah, so he bought me this because I had purchased a Supreme one from Japan a few trips ago and I couldn't find it for a little bit, but I did recently just find it. So when you open it, it has all of these compartments here where you can put things in it. So mainly I was using that Supreme bag to use when I walk Millie. So apparently my husband took the opportunity to buy me another one um, that I can use to walk Miss Millie as well. It's just something to hold, you know, like poop bags, um, hand sanitizer, my phone and keys. So he did get me this in the cobalt navy tanker styled blue.
Next here, it looks like it is in another blue. Ah, yes. So it is this pouch here. And it has also a nylon crossbody strap. This is not mine. This is my husband's actually because I do have one in the tanker green already. So he got himself the navy blue. And lastly for the porter haul, I did really want this one here. Um, this was probably oh, dust bag. Oh, oh, it's not last tanker piece. I will go over the little accessories. There's two accessories, but I did really want the duffel. Yes, these are the Boston duffel bags. So again, if you have been watching my channel, you guys know that I have them in the micro nano size. So they came up, so they have this in actually several sizes. My husband has one of the bigger ones for uh, a gym bag, gym slash work bag. And I wanted this, oh, why is it kind of dented? Ah. So I wanted this in this size and I need to shape it because it's been flat for a while so it hasn't been shaped, but I got it in this little size. If you've been watching me look at the difference in size. So this is the micro version and this is the one size up. So you can see the size difference. And this one does not have any crossbody uh, like D rings on it. So this is just mainly just a shoulder bag. But this was really kind of the look I wanted. It just needs some shaping. Another item from Supreme. Um, I am lucky that he has Supreme stores there. There are no Supreme stores here in Hawaii. So I really wanted this kind of like brown olive drab hat. And I've been on a thing with Supreme hats lately. So um, he also got me that kind of like lavender um, lilac color in the last video so this is that brown one. Oh, I totally jumped <laughs> I apologize because there were two accessories from Porter so the first one here was it already open? So the first one here are these, they're sold as a pair. They are just these little coin holder cases. He has them, I believe, already in an orange, but when you open it up, it just looks like so. And this I definitely asked for though. So it is this car key little wallet thing so it is very similar to the six key ring holder from louis vuitton i just wanted one from porter because um i just wanted one to match and i've only just been using my monogram one which is running out of space i think i need to buy a six key but now that i have this one it's definitely more heavy duty than the louis vuitton one and because it is nylon it is going to stretch out a little bit more and it has a little pocket on the side so i can put me hopefully i can put in some of the car fobs that i have in here and also my parking key as well because it zips to close versus the button and i did want it in the black so it is easier to take care of now into random cute things um another thing that i did want is these cute amiibo cards if you are still playing animal crossing or a fan these are the new current season so i was hoping to get some new characters which i did but they're not the characters i initially wanted but it's okay because they're still cute and um, if I get a villager I don't want, 
that I can just easily replace. So some of the new characters I got. And the others are like Audie, Judy, which I've had on my previous islands before. But there are some characters that I cannot run into when it comes to a villager hunting. So I was able to get a few cute characters. My husband thought this was cool. These are masks and it has a collaboration with Frisk. Frisk in Japan is known to have mints. So it's like a peppermint mint kind of um, thing they put on it. I don't know. Just cool filter mask. I'm gonna try it. it. Seems cool. He went to a Doremon store and I couldn't decide so I just got these cute socks. And you guys know I love Rila Kuma on this channel. So there are these adorable little cards. And of course, Japan wouldn't be anything without some B-side label. I've talked about it numerous times. He had purchased... So they usually give you a free sticker with purchase. So that's this. But he got more Corgi stickers. And of course, a Dragon Ball Z sticker. And now my favorite portion, it's gonna go to snacks. So first off, I've opened it already. I haven't had the chance to eat it. I just wanted to look at it. But these are manjus. So they're, I guess it was Dore, Doremon themed because there are some with uh, Doremon on it. But manju is just like a little pastry. Um, very time sensitive to eat these um, because they expire. I think it says August 1st. Some is like late July. But they have different flavors like uh, azuki bean um, and then momi. I, I don't even know what some of these flavors are. Um, so I'm gonna try them, but I know there's like lemon, there's strawberry, chizu, kurimu, cheese cream. Okay, I can read some, y'all. Um, tsubu, I don't know what that is, but I can't wait to try this. Melkureto. Chocolate milk, but anyways, manju. This one is one of my favorites. Last time in a haul went pretty crazy with bana Tokyo Bananas. I just wanted either the Ginza strawberry cakes, but I don't think he went to Ginza this time. So instead he got me these apple cakes, which is probably the best Tokyo banana flavor that's not banana. Um, so this is like a apple pie cake. So good. Of course, my favorite thing, a mild strawberry giant pocky sticks. Needed to re-up on these. And if you are ever in Japan and you run into a 7-Eleven, they have these Michelin star ramens. Uh, I remember when I first tried this uh, a few trips ago and I just bought I think one or two because I wanted to try it I heard it was really good and I made a mistake because I should have bought more uh, he was only able to find three so have to savor the three that I have moving on to Moving on with Pocky Sticks, we have three flavors here. Salty Vanilla, which my husband says is really good. This one here, the Almond Crush, which I've tried and ate a whole box already. And then Chocolate Coconut. Mm. I've tried this one already. I just had to Kit Kat Milk Tea. It is a little bit stronger. On the milk tea front oh they're different oh the wrappings are all different but I think they're all milk tea it is pretty strong milk uh, with tea flavor but I I don't hate it I love it
these are fancy Japanese high chews. So he, I want to try these now actually. So there is pineapple from, I think they're different prefectures, uh, a white peach and a grape. But these are like high end styled high chews. So I'm going to try one now. I want to see. So this one is the pineapple. Let's try it. Looks like a regular haichu. Wow. These are really good. Mm. Wow. They're so juicy. Oh my god. Wow, the pineapple is amazing, sweet. It, it really tastes like you took a bite out of a very sweet, fresh pineapple. So this is the grape and peach I will try a little bit later. But if it was as amazing as that pineapple, boy, I'm going to be sad when I eat all of them. <laughs> he also got some salt lemon Kit Kats. I don't know if they're good, but there's three bags. Um... So it must be good. I haven't tried it yet. He also got these Hershey's Cookies in Mint and Strawberries in Cream bars. I think there's also a sprinkle one that I'll, I probably missed. You've seen this in my other um, hauls, the pizza chips. One of my favorite things to eat if you're ever in Japan and you're getting egg salad sandwiches. This is the best to have with that egg salad sandwich, I promise you. Here's that Sprinkles Hershey's. Also, um, some Kaki Mochi, which is just some rice crackers. And I love, this is probably my favorite gummy fettuccines. Uh, they're, they're just really like uh, sweet sour gummies, but they're so good. You can probably find this at your any Asian grocery store, but they're caramel corn puffs. These are really good, so if you see them, try them. And I believe this is the last one, but it's these cheese curls. Amazing. Also really great with um, the egg salad sandwiches. However, <laughs> it just tastes like a very high-end Cheeto. Um, so I absolutely think these are great. Not as easy to find in Japan, but so good. And is that it? Oh, sorry. This now is the last bit. It is these Vicks medicated drops in grape and blueberry, blueberry, blue, blue, grape and blueberry flavor. I don't know what medicated drops mean. Um, I guess it's just their way of calling them like cough drops. But your girl has like this cough that just doesn't go away. So, I'm going to try some of these Japan ones. And guys, that is it for the Japan haul. Actually, it is not. There are some things that are not in this video because it's not quite here yet. So there's a picture here. I got an HKS intake for my Supra. And there's other drinks and other things that are coming, but really... I don't know if there's anything to write home about. Um, they're just some energy drinks from Japan that is very expensive here in Hawaii. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by today. You guys are always the Ellis. Is there something from Japan or are you planning to go to Japan anytime soon? My camera's heating up. You guys are always the Ellis. If you guys haven't already, why not subscribe, like this video as well. Bye.